Hello you guys, welcome to the ranting shop. It's me Melissa. I wanted to come on quickly to just talk about the couples of put a ring on it, particularly Eric and Jessica and Loranda and Sean. Now it's no surprise to me that they end up they ended up getting engaged to each other mostly because I had been watching their Instagram stories or their Instagram pages for quite some time now, ever since the show commenced. And it was quite apparent that the couples, for example, Laurent and Sean, were still together, if not were amicable, because I saw Loranda posted the photo of her going to a wedding and she tried to hide Sean's face but we all knew that was Sean she took the picture with and then there was another show that Sean whose name is Jay Dukes went to or I think he curates shows and stuff like that so she attended a show that he curated relatively maybe earlier this month or late last month and so to me that made it quite obvious that they were still together to this day now another couple jessica and sean it was very obvious that they were still together primarily because i mentioned and i will post pictures of the fact that on their social media primarily mostly jessica's social media she posted um, something she did for Eric's birthday and all this was playing out of course while the show was airing and people were supposed to be in suspense as to who stays together and who leaves but anybody who has their social medias would not be surprised because she did something for his birthday during that time frame and they decided to own a company together trucking company and the company's name is e and j trucking and it's quite obvious to determine what e and j means eric and jessica trucking company and i will insert a picture as well so it's very obvious that the couple stayed together sources have confirmed that actually Eric and Jessica have been, she's been proposed to before. Um, and that, I suppose, didn't go as planned. And so they went on the show and Eric proposed again. And as I mentioned or noted prior, it was very weird to me how something so congratulatory, like a proposal, would be celebrated no matter how long you guys have been um engaged and so on and so forth knowing the nature of these shows of course when we see it as viewers it's not actually when it happens they probably proposed to each other in may that show probably wrapped in may or maybe in um maybe in april may around that time frame so they have been engaged for quite some time right now it's august and they just showed that finale i believe yesterday or was it friday so they have been engaged for a while but still if you knew that of course the viewers are just now seeing the engagement of course you would want to re you know upload or finally upload your proposal pictures finally do your lives together finally show off the rings and so on and so forth that's what loranda and sean did they couldn't even wait actually to do that however for jessica and Sh um, eric it was a different situation because they waited quite some time for especially jessica to show off her engagement ring she did show it but she waited quite some time to show it and she made note that that was all we were getting we were only gonna get the little picture that she posted on her story she didn't even post it on her actual page she posted it on her stories and if you know anything about instagram you know stories tend to disappear after a certain time frame it's not something when people post things on stories 
my analysis of that is that it's not for they don't want people they don't want to see it permanently and they don't want people to see it permanently and um that was just very suspect to me because if it's something where you're still excited and still happy it's something you would post on your actual page as opposed to your ig stories and you would post it almost immediately but she waited a couple many hours to post it and then when she finally posted it it was only in her ig stories and she said that that was all that she was gonna post about the situation um of course eric posted the same picture of her ring and stuff after the fact and but as for their actual pages it doesn't have anything pertaining to the engagement on it um that might change moving forward who knows but i just find it very weird you know there's normally people who just saw the show they want to congratulate you you know and the only way people could really congratulate Jessica is if they happen to catch the picture on the stories and, you know, sent a congratulatory message. But there's no post created for congratulations, which I find was weird. Does anybody else find that strange or is it just me? But as I said, I always knew they were still together. They have the company together and all that. As for the proposal i'm not really feeling it i don't think anybody was really feeling that proposal they were like whatever i mean how are you going to having all these issues just a couple days ago to all of a sudden being ready to get married you were just 85 percent sure 15 percent unsure and all of a sudden i guess a day makes a whole difference you are ready to propose that seems weird to me and i have a, a feeling that they're probably still having issues they're probably still having issues they haven't resolved anything realistically speaking you can't go from having all these problems to you know it being resolved when the show is ending that makes realistically speaking it makes no sense things don't work that way you know, you don't have all these issues and then as the show ends, it, it, it miraculously resolves. So, but for me watching this episode, I feel this season, I felt as if it was the couples to me, it seemed as if they were playing a game. And it was for them, us against these dates. That's how it, it presented to me. Us against these dates. We're gonna stay strong. We're gonna still be together. We're gonna still... When actually the experiment is not about staying strong. The, in, in regards to... In the face of, you know, potential other people. The premise of the show is to allow each other to end, to go through the experiments and fully immerse themselves in the experiment so that each other could see through actions whether your partner really wants to be with you or not. And I feel like although the premise seems stupid, it's actually quite smart because a lot of couples are so used to listening to their partner's words and taking their partner's words for it when in actuality they never really look at the partner's actions and decide for themselves does the action align with their words most of the time it does not you know but because they say that or they say this it must be that this show allowed for the partners to not only listen to words but look at actions and understand that actions speak louder than words and do what you will do what you must with the actions that you're seeing you know but anyways there was that of course loranda and sean were on live alexia was on live ashley was on live ashley from the very first season and for me, I, f I feel as if Ashley likes to attach herself to 
other different shows on own it's like her 15 minutes of fame has dwindled and now she has to attach herself to all the other new shows for her to kind of stay relevant so first it was um that show on own ready to love she found a couple friends that she could have she could attach herself to so that you know she could be up to date that was simone you know and then she moved over to put her ring on it second season she attached herself to loronda attached herself to alexia you know she attached herself to the more relevant people and um it's smart but to me it just seems like you just want to extend your 15 minutes of fame there's nothing wrong with that but it just looked really suspect to me there was a live that alexia did a couple days ago and you know they all came to alexia's house to essentially watch the final season final episode of the show and then they broke off to do separate lives and apparently or maybe they all agreed to come to alexia's live but actually what happened was ashley did her own live and there was some confusion there alexia was annoyed with ashley because she felt like how how are you guys in my house and you're not joining my life why is it that i have to join your life so there was this big confusion and everything and it's kind of like it makes you see ashley in a different light enough about that people who viewed alexia's live are thinking that you know because her stomach looked a certain kind of way people are trying to say that can she be pregnant however i don't believe that alexia is pregnant i feel like she just ate and her stomach is just extended because of eating um and i see it that way because when i eat my stomach does that my stomach looks huge like it's distended it's 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 full it looks big you know but that doesn't mean i'm pregnant so no i don't think that she's pregnant people are trying to say that perhaps she's pregnant by daria and i don't see that that makes no sense to me and like i just view alexa in a higher regard than that you know after you said all these things for you to go back and get pregnant by the same guy it's weird to me she specifically said on the show that she did not want to be a baby's mother she didn't want to be like his other baby mothers she wanted to be married to him before she had the child so i don't think that she's gonna like go against that you know just because she wants to one up kai um ask for what other things shall i speak on I could speak on oh the Danny Canada interview that she did with Dr. Nicole. I could speak on that. So Alexia had an interview with Danny Canada and Danny Canada is a media personality and she has interviewed lots of people on the own network on various shows including Ready to Love and so on and um, she spoke a little bit about Darian and um, I made a note that Darian is a liar. Alexia never really had a good time she said on the show because of how Darian was acting she felt like Darian was putting on for the cameras telling her one thing behind closed doors and being one way when the cameras were turned on um, she mentions that he reaches out to her all the time and I don't think that's something that Alexia should brag about um, because everybody's gonna be wondering why does he still have your contact why is he able to reach out to you you should be unreachable at this point you know because of all that disrespect that he's shown to you there should be no ability for him to contact you again it's this thing women do when they try to one up each other it's like you think you have him i have him and it's like he's not even a prize he's not even anything to be arguing about but yes, Alexia felt like Kai thought sleeping with Darian would keep him, but it didn't. Kai thinks that she was manipulated. She thinks that Darian told her a lot of things behind closed doors to make her feel comfortable, 
to make her feel very comfortable to the point where she's she felt brave enough to say on that reunion show that they were indeed together however on the show we shot we saw his facial expression and he was like really i i didn't know that so i feel like darian plays a lot of games between him even when he was with alexia he was telling her one thing and doing another thing in front of cameras it seems like that's just what he does behind closed doors he tells you one thing in front of the camera he acts another way so that should not be surprising michael yes i spoke about michael and whitney they did a closure meeting because a lot of people are thinking that dr nicole is shady because dr nicole knew darian was cheating and she still decided to or she knew Darian cheated and that is why she decided for Darian to have the closure meeting. But I believe that they always do closure meetings. I think if you go on multiple dates with the same person and you're leading up to the finale, I feel like there's nothing wrong with going to that person and saying, you know what, I've decided to work it out with my partner and blah, blah, blah. I don't see anything wrong with that. And so... um dr nicole just allowed things to happen you know and that's where we found out that darian cheated now did she know prior to that that he cheated possibly but i don't necessarily think that she did that closure meeting for drama drama ensued but i don't necessarily feel like she did it because oh this is gonna come out i mean who's to predict that but anyways um did dr nicole no dr nicole never outright said she knew she said you can see when some things um shift you could see when some people shift just in terms of their non-verbal communication you know alexia never viewed marriage seriously except for the last two years so yes on the show it appears as if she so much wanted marriage but it never it was never always like that she said she used to see you know her teammates being cheated on and she never wanted to be a part of that but i guess the more and more she started to see her friends getting married the more and more she wanted it for herself she said her parents never married but stayed together for a very long time um Alexia just wanted to be with someone who she already knew and was comfortable with, you know. And that is essentially why I guess she just kept coming back to Darian because he was a comfortable place. So somebody asked her a question. I think Kai, something Kai said about her being comfortable with Darian and that's why she wants to stay with him. That is absolutely true. She confirmed that. She said that she wanted to marry Darian because Darian is somebody who knows her intimately and has known her for a long time. So for her, it was easier to get married to somebody she knew for a long space of time as opposed to getting to know somebody new. Because according to her, she had been in new situations and the, it was always something, you know. So, yep. So people were trying to say that doctor as if implying that dr nicole should have told alexia about darian's infidelity that was not dr nicole's place dr nicole is a facilitator she's not she's not a lie detector test she's not a truth speaker that's not her business you know she's an outside party and that would be overstepping her boundaries to go ahead and tell alexia oh darian has cheated on you and it would backfire because she didn't even believe Darian when Darian told her himself that he did it. Do you think that Alexia would have believed Dr. Nicole? Think about it. The only source that she could have gotten that information from was Darian. Because he's the one that cheated on her. So anyways, do we have anything else to say? There was Kai's interview with Little Black Book. She didn't say anything much. Um, the only thing she stated was, what did she say that was so profound? She didn't really say anything that was too profound other than Darian was telling her a lot of things behind closed doors that made her feel extremely comfortable to the point where she felt the need to come on national television and say that, yes, she and Darian was dating, you know. 
um, up until a couple of weeks ago, he was posting her business. Up until a couple months ago, they were spotted together on his Instagram page. So they were dating. You know, they were dating. Um, so I don't know what he's doing. This man is just a compulsive liar. And it appears that what he's doing on the show was just trying to save face. Because he knew he looked dumb. He knew he was going to be crucified. And he just had to make it seem as if... Oh, it was, it's not me. It's not me. He's basically trying to make Kai look crazy. These are the types of people you should stay away from. Narcissistic and manipulative. They will tell you one thing behind closed doors. Then when you repeat that confidently thinking, yes, that's what he said. He's acting a completely different way in front of, you know, in front of people and, and cameras. And that is something that, Alexia should expect from him considering he did the same thing to her. Um, I don't think it's anything that she should be proud of boasting about tick funny because he actually played both the women. So both of them actually look silly. Nobody looks sillier than the other one. They both look equally silly, you know, considering this man had been playing them for fools and using them. It's just that he used Kai for a shorter period of time. But um, between that and, you know, yet another another um, baby's mother this time came on commission reviews talking about not even necessarily her experience with Darian, but again discrediting Dina, who was the woman who spoke first about her experience with Darian and Basically, she never said that he lied necessarily. She lied necessarily. What she said was that Dina should take accountability for being used by Darian. And I feel like she did take accountability. Her coming on a public platform where she knows she's going to be scrutinized for the thing she did for a bum is her taking accountability you know and the focus was not on whether dina should take accountability or not the focus was was what darian did correct no he manipulated these women and he should be scrutinized for it you know um anyways I think that's all I have to say about the whole puttering on it situation. Next episode is the reunion. So we're going to be excited to see that. And if you guys haven't seen a review for Love and Marriage Huntsville, it's because a new, there was no new episode this particular Saturday. So there was nothing to really review. Instead of playing a new episode, they decided to play a marathon of... The previous episodes and so yes you guys see you next week for another review and um bye